and this is the uh, screen where, when you uh, go into space and go to Saturn, Sean. If you go to Saturn, for example, you can see that there are. You can't land on Saturn since it is a gas planet and it has no surface, even if there was any. We would be crushed by its gravity. So this is in Daedalus. You only have a tier 4, so you can't go with that. Yes, we you need, need certain a tiers. tier 8 rocket. So why don't you land on Earth and get the tier 8 rocket and we'll show people. Yes, and down on Earth, we do not have a parachute. And as we can see up, up here, there's a parachute. These land with you with all the materials that you have, for example, your rocket. But you cannot open them while they are floating. So I'll just go down to Earth, and here we have another power chest of a tier 4 rocket, and, and this is a facility which I have made for, uh, to, for power, for example, this nuclear re reactor I've made. This is very complicated. It's from industrial craft and can get energy really quickly. Although it can overheat and uh, explode. And blow up. <laughs> yes. That's why we have reinforced doors, reinforced stone, and reinforced glass. And pretty much everything is reinforced. Although the uranium rods used for it do run out. So that's why we use uh, these quad fuel rods. I have too many here, just in case. And yes. So now I'll get a tier 5 rocket and show you what we have on one of Saturn's moons and Daedalus. Use tier 8. I'll see you there. Okay. I can't find my tier 8 rockets. You can get a pre-fueled rocket, but that's only on creative. If you don't get a pre-fueled rocket, you can use the fuel loader which you can attach to the launch pad but we'll be talking about that in a different video this is a tier 8 rocket it can travel to more places than other tiers there are certain rockets which can be harder and easier to make and this is our nuclear reactor this which has nothing but a nuclear reactor. Now we will show you our moon base, which is on Saturn. Uh, it's not on Saturn, it's on one of the moons of Saturn, uh, Enceladus. 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 No, it's Enceladus. It's Enceladus. Okay, then. And here, it, it goes higher than you can build, and even if you try and build up and up and up, and you have enough blocks, it will still not work. You need a rocket to go into space. And what you hear, there's me taking off from the space station onto Enceladus. Yes. Enceladus. Yes. But I... Uh, this is a little lag which sometimes happens. So the map will come up soon. It will come up soon. There it is. <laughs> Not. And here you can see it's different moons. Um, We'll only be going to one in Celadus, but we've made a base, and we are, when you land, we go in this thing and we land. And, oh, we land right on top of the base. Luckily, it doesn't damage it, since before it's taken hits from meteors. Yes, and you can see but a few of those meteors there right now. Yeah, but these ones haven't uh, destroyed our base. They've just landed around it. And then some you see of in them, the background Saturn. Some of them do nothing, but the, uh, some do a lot of damage. If you right click on this, it will uh, have the same effect as the uh, para chest. It will have our, uh, our stuff. So if we just take this out, grab our rocket, and as you can see here, gravity is not completely gone, but it's not completely there. These mobs are mobs which are evolved in the case that they're more powerful and they've learned how to survive on different planets. But we, uh, that doesn't matter right now. These meteors, if you duplicate it, 
and put it down, you can see that the recently fall this is like a recently fallen one. So if you go near it, it will set. Ooh, it ouch. can hurt you. And you died. <laughs> Sorry, our server cut off just now, but we started up again. Okay, so as I was saying, these uh, meteors, uh, if you place it down on creative, it will be like it was just landed. So if you touch it, it will burn you. If, if on survival, it will kill you. And hopefully we'll be able to see some somewhere around here. I just got out of my... No. Somewhere around I'm here. I'm miles from the station. You right click to get out of it. And we just heard the zombie. So I'll just break this glass since, oh, there's an airlock right there. I'll go through this airlock and here you can see it's our moon buggy, and here is our fuel loader, which needs power and has ran out of power from our battery, and we have a load of filled fuel canisters we can use for it. This is our display screens, which has display screens. This is our... yeah. And this station also has oxygen. For example, if we go in survival, we will be completely fine. This place has also has a lab, but it has a lab for each thing. This is the chemical lab. Oh, I have. Oh, yeah, and you can die from thermal production as well, like I am right now. <coughs> this is the DNA run where we have. A centrifuge, a DNA analyzer, a DNA extractor, which is unpowered right now. And I think there's some skin A DNA things. decryptor, which is also not powered right now. I a DNA it splitter, which is also not powered right I now. Switched it off. And a DNA combiner. By All of these need power. And in here we have some skin scales, which I have collected. From Saturnians. Um, this door operates with a lever, so I can't go out unless you open the lever. Oh, oops. Sorry. <laughs> Here we are, we, the same lighting, which is arc lamps, and this is our nuclear reactor, which powers a lot. And if we switch it on, it will power this a lot, and it will make a sound and green stuff. These are the chests for protection. This wire should be connected to the sealable aluminium wire, and now it is. Oh, that's why we didn't have any power. Yes, yeah. it was. <laughs> I'll get through the door quick. Okay, so this room is our cafeteria. There's a block of cheese, as always, cake, and a chest with potatoes, steak, cake, and cheese. We love our potatoes. Oh, you do. Oi. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. And these are... This is a display screen which was turned off by somebody. I wonder who. And <laughs> these are just some things from Computercraft. Let's take them to the Arboretum. Yes. Wait, which way is the Arboretum? You, need, way. you really need to put down signs. <laughs> Minecraft signs are so ugly. Too bad. Okay, so, well these are trees and our collectors. This room has become strangely higher last time I've been here, and these are collecting energy, uh, and well, oxygen, not energy, and why on earth is there a chest inside this tree? <laughs> and look, look here, Rashawn. Look how close this meteor came. Yes, it, it was very close. And why are there three potatoes on the floor? I'll give those back. And... Yes, these are airlocks. You make them using airlock frames and airlock controllers. Now I will just 
break out of the window and replace the window and oops okay and show you how to make an airlock you can make an airlock by putting for example it can be any, any size as long as you have this controller and the frames and then you can put this 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 and this and there it'll close you can make it close on a redstone signal I mean open on the redstone signal if the player is within a certain range or if the player's name is something For and only the creator of it can edit it and these are more and more evolved mobs and bats are buggy which you just drove off and It's not a buggy, it's a rover. Yes, same thing. Park it back properly. Oh, you know how bad at parking I am. Oh, get out of it, let me park it. <laughs> okay. I'm good at parking this. Oh, don't place that. Hold shift. Okay, finally. <laughs> so, uh, it's easiest to park this in third person view. And unfortunately, if you hit something with it, it will not kill it. And... Unfortunately. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. And if... And I just did it a little too far, and... Perfect. So then the fueling... This fuel loader can fuel things, although it needs a battery, which you did not recharge. The battery is in here. In here, being charged by this cluster power supply. What battery? I don't see one. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a battery. Oh. Mostly because I took it. I must have. Yes, you took it. It was in uh, there. I'm going to put it in. And this is a lead battery. It cannot be recharged. And in here we have some fuel, which we can take and empty out in this fuel loader for example we're putting it in the rover and i'm not even sure if it's fueling anything but i hope it is well it's got electricity and it's got fuel so okay it's a hundred percent fuel if this goes to zero it will stop immediately and in a way. And also, not only do you and the other mobs experience the low gravity, but so do the items, if you look. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's harder to get droppings as well. Let's show them the solar panels. Yes. These solar panels are exactly the same as ones on my space, space station, and they have the same lunar wires, except these a few of the storages are not working for some strange reason and these solar panels instantly turn to face the sun and what are you doing they're charging look show them, them yeah show it. it wasn't working because the sun just came up see there it is yeah show them the sun yeah it, it might be because i just turned it <laughs> oh okay i told you setting up these wirings was complicated uh complicated to some people now for example a nuclear reactor needed reinforced stone and even this isn't enough to uh, prevent one of its explosions because it is a huge explosion and it can destroy a lot probably a whole medium-sized island of minecraft so you need to put at least about three layers of reinforced stone and reinforced doors on it to prevent it exploding. This is our launch plate, which apparently does not have a rocket. I'll put one down right now. You need three pad oh you, see, tuk, tuk. you need the pads. <laughs> I'll put some down right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Give me the rocket. 
I'm holding a rocket. Rescue, rescue, <laughs> rescue to give me a rocket. You're standing on the pad. Give me a rocket, rescue. Oh, okay, cute. There you oh, go. No, no. <laughs> yes, and uh, as you can see here, you can hold your rocket. And it's not really shown here. Is that because there's less gravity on Enceladus? Enceladus? So, for example, <laughs> if we hold our rocket, it will make it show you holding it really that you're strong. So it's not because of the lower gravity then? No, okay. because it also works on Earth. These uh, pipes could go underground, which would make it look a lot neater, but... but... I like it outside. Exactly. And it's easier to fix if there are any problems, if they're outside. It's easier for mine to fix because it's outside my sta space station. We'll look at my sta station soon. Why are you going back to the Arboretum? It's an Arboretum. Arboretum. Okay, you really need to put signs down. <laughs> uh, and what is... Wait, is this Endedalus? Enceladus. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> okay, and these are the thermal paddings, the oxygen mass, the oxygen gear, the frequency model. And I, before I was dying from thermal, and apparently these oxygen tanks are empty. <laughs> oh dear. We'll have to connect them. For to example, the if I go series. on uh, game mode zero, also known as survival, I am soon going to die from. No, there are sealers here. No, not from oxygen death, from thermal death. Different thing, different deaths. Oh yes, you are. But see, invalid thermal protection, and it will damage me. And three. Two, one. You better hurry up. No, you're still... And they'll give me slowness first. Oh dear. And then, but to stop that, I can use this thermal padding, which will keep me completely safe. Or will make me look like really, really ugly. Which I, yeah. You have to sleep in them as well. They look like cool pajamas. You look like Deadpool. But you are Deadpool. Okay. I think that's the end of the video, Rishon. Uh, no, it is not. We still have my station to show. That's for the next video. Yes, it is.